I'm Gold Derby editor Daniel Montgomery here with Sarah Green, who plays B.B. Garvey on Bad Sisters. Uh, now, B.B. is arguably the boldest and most self-assured of the sisters. Uh, what did you think of B.B. as a character when this opportunity came your way? Um, I was a bit apprehensive. Um, I was a bit nervous taking her on. Uh, I hadn't really played a character like her before, who is someone who's so, you know, front-footed and doesn't really care what people think of her. Um, I would be much more of like a people pleaser. So um, it was a bit of a challenge for me. And um, yeah, I got the phone call. I was like just about to give birth. So um, read the scripts and obviously she's a badass. So it's a, as much as a, a challenge, it was a, a delight to play. Um, but yeah, I think the first few weeks, I still wasn't 100% sure that I was the right casting or not. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm glad it all worked out. Uh, now, Bibi is the sister who uh, really instigates the plot to murder uh, uh, their brother-in-law, John Paul. So you're a big part of bringing the audience along for that ride. Um, so how did it feel to explore the anger of this character and to make this murder plot something that the audience could relate to or, or understand? Well, I think that was a big challenge for us as well um, in terms of uh, will an audience go with us? Will they, um, you know, we were just really lucky that I think universally everybody hated John Paul. So, but it was a question we asked ourselves, you know, especially towards the beginning, like we are contemplating or we're, we're setting out to murder somebody. And what if audiences are like, well, that's just wrong. Morally, you just can't do that no matter what what the situation is with their family and their sister and, and, and the fact they tried to protect her. I think my reasoning and my logic behind it was, um, I think that in episode uh, maybe two, um, uh, Bibi and Eva are chatting about, and she's saying she wants to kill him and she said, we can't because blown it, um, Grace's daughter. And my reasoning behind being okay with it and Bibi being okay with it is because they lost their parents at a young age. So I'm, um, you know, in Bibi's head, we're all fine. I mean, they're not, but, um, and so that's how I kind of um, made my peace with it. Um, and then the conversation about what you do when, you know, your sister or your loved one is in a situation like that in a relationship like that, and uh, you would do anything to protect them. I have a sister, so um, I could relate, you know, if someone was hurting my sister, um, it would be very hard to stand back and, and not, uh, not try and save her, you know? Uh, and, you know, the story is about murder, but it's also told with a lot of humor. Uh, how, how did you walk that fine line as an actor? Um, that was daily conversations before every scene. Um, you know, we knew the backbone and the spine of the story is about domestic violence. Um, so we were really careful um, about how to approach each scene, when to lean in to the humor and the comedy and when to back off a bit. Um, uh, and so, yeah, that was a daily conversations with Sharon and amongst the sisters of how far to push it, how far to push the comedy. And um, we had to be really respectful and we had a big responsibility in, in telling the story. But I, I think, yeah, it was a, a tightrope for sure. Um, but I think we managed it. I think people need to laugh, you know, and it, it's heartbreaking and brutal in moments. And, and you need uh, the relief of laughter and humour. And I think that's what the, the writing is so good. I mean, Sharon and, and, and all the team of writers, that's, I think they got that balance really brilliantly. And, and which do you find more challenging, kind of the comedy side of things or the drama side of things? Oh, comedy for sure. <laughs> uh, yeah, comedy is, is definitely a harder, uh, a harder um, hat to wear. Um, but it's it was quite nice for all of us to, to, to do both in this. You know, I think everyone has their, their moments of hilarity and their, their moments of, you know, great conflict and drama. Um, again, great writing. Uh, now, uh, a big part of BB's character, she lost an eye in a, in a car crash caused by John Paul, so she wears an eye patch. Uh, how is it navigating scenes with the eye patch, both on a practical level uh, and on a performance level? Uh, it was difficult. <laughs> at, the, at the beginning, especially, uh, my first day filming, I remember I had to like jump in the car uh, into um, Eva's uh, convertible and I had to throw my, my rucksack in and, and jump in. I just completely missed. I threw the bag and nearly hit a camera. And uh, yeah, my, I was, my, my balance was really bad. 
Um, there's one scene where we're all running out of um, the house. It's when John Paul is uh, driving his car um, comatose. And uh, we all run out of the house and we watched the we watched back on the monitors and I'm just like veering off to one side and running down the wrong road. Um, I got a really bad dodgy knee. Um, my knee started really acting up and my osteopath was like, oh, it's because you're overcompensating and um, and it's gone now. Uh, so yeah, it, it, was a, it was a challenge for sure, but um, it looks cool. <laughs> it's worth it. <laughs> Yeah, and did, did it help you get into kind of Beatty's oh, mindset sure. that you know that's sure. you just yeah, you just feel hard the minute you put it on, just you know, she doesn't give a shit. <laughs> so uh, it really helped. The story also cuts uh back and forth in time uh between before John Paul's death and after his death. Uh how did you keep all of that straight in terms of you know your character and you know what her state of mind is in any given scene? Well, we had brilliant script supervisors who would uh, help us. And Derbla Walsh, our first director, was just all over the script. And so whenever we were a little bit confused, um, we would all just check in and make sure that we were in the right place. But I think you're just playing, you know, you're, you're, you're playing the truth of any scene in any moment. So you just have to kind of approach it from that. It was definitely confusing. I mean, we never knew if we were coming or going, but... Um, uh, yeah, I think it was really clever how it was edited then and how they shot it and like you know the real film coming back and forth and um but yeah there was that that was a, a challenge a tough challenge for sure of like making sure we're all on the same page in the same moment. And did it also help uh, in that regard uh, having uh, your co-star Sharon Horgan also be the co-writer and you know a writer on or you know a co-creator of the show? Uh, did she help guide you on your on on that journey? 100%. I mean, it really felt like a collaboration, but having Sharon on set every day was just so vital. Um, you know, if there was, if a scene wasn't working, for instance, we would, you know, she would just come up with something new there and then and and and, and just make it work. And uh, yeah, it was such a luxury having her um, there and supporting. And it really felt like an incredibly su supportive room. Um, every every scene we did, we were, you know, I'm a huge fan of all the actresses. I was anyway. Um, so to get to work with them was a real joy. And then we were all unbelievably supportive of each other and really celebrated each other and wanted each other to do really, really well. And um, yeah, it was it was a really gorgeous time and a gorgeous uh, group of women to be to be working with, especially like I had just had a baby. And so I was a bit more vulnerable than I usually would have been and I felt very held and I think we, we all say the same that we all kind of just held each other and yeah I think you can see that on the screen as well I think you can see how much fun we actually had together um you know it, it was a really easy um kind of bonding the first few weeks in rehearsals um yeah we all went like swimming together and it was just it came very easy that uh, connection that sisterhood yeah, and that sisterhood is so unique, uh, this relationship that this bond these sisters have. Uh, could you relate to that family dynamic, uh, you know, minus the murder? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so I have one sister, but I come from quite a big family of, you know, cousins and stuff. So we would have spent all our summers with, you know, um, extended family. Uh, I know Sharon comes from a family of five, I think. Um, uh, Eve is from a family of four. Um Eva is from a family of three, I think, and um, uh, Anne Marie has one brother. Um, so yeah, we all we all have siblings. Um, not necessarily big families like like the Garveys, but um, I think we all drew from our own personal experience and you know stories about our sisters and brothers. And um, sorry, I've gone off on a tangent and I've forgotten your question, Daniel. I'm sorry. <laughs> No, uh, uh, just asking uh, how well you could relate to uh, the family dynamic. Well, yeah, yes, yes, I know. Um, I'm not from a family of that size, but for sure, like growing up with lots of cousins, yeah. Uh, now, given how much history that these characters have, uh, did you develop any kind of backstory for BB beyond what was on the page to help motivate your performance, kind of flesh her out more? 
Yeah, I think, you know, I do that with every character um, and uh, especially like myself and Yasmin Akram, who plays my wife, we would have had lots of conversations about their relationship when they got together. And um, and then, yeah, I, with the sisters, it was more just, you know, the dynamics of what it would have been like growing up, like uh, Bibi and Becca would have been the youngest in the family and that kind of rivalry, like Bibi would have been the youngest for a long time. And then Becca came along and stole her thunder. And so that kind of rivalry between the two of them. Um, and then just you know different dynamics between each sister and um, uh, yeah it was like a lot of fun to kind of come up with their backstories and you know the like Ursula left home quite young so they wouldn't have been as close to her um, conversations like that that really help inform the character and inform um, the dynamics between each sister. Uh, now, a major turning point for Bibi uh, is when she accidentally shoots uh, their paintball instructor uh, in the eye when they're trying when she's trying to shoot John Paul. Um, you know, obviously, that carries a lot of emotion for Bibi, a lot of guilt. Uh, we get to see this very vulnerable side of her. Uh, how meaningful was that kind of twist and and playing those scenes? I mean, it's, um, yeah, it was you know kind of very upsetting for her obviously um to to know that she has caused such damage to someone she's lived through it she knows what it's like um uh really enjoyable as an actor to play to show that side of her because i don't think we'd seen her vulnerable up until that point um and so yeah like it's a gift of a role a gift of a storyline um to be able to go through that kind of anguish uh on camera um yeah, it was, uh, and then you, you just get to see a different side of her, right? Like, um, um, and I think with all the sisters, everyone has their moment of being vulnerable. Um, uh, yeah. Uh, the show uh, recently won uh, BAFTA awards for best drama series and best supporting actress for your co-star, Anne-Marie Duff. Uh, how did it feel for the show to get that recognition? Oh, amazing. Like you hope it's going to do well and you hope it's going to win awards, but then when it actually happens and we all got to celebrate together and um, yeah, it's a really lovely feeling and really nice to go back into season two on, on that high, you know, um, people loved the show. I loved the show. Um, and it's really lovely to be in something that people have really bonded with and connected to. And uh, like, I think it really like brought families together. I think having it on, um, you know, week to week rather than it all be released at once really helped word of mouth. And and then, yeah, people would have bad sister parties and watch every Friday night together. And that's uh, it's really nice that you're coming into someone's sitting room and um, getting to be part of like making memories and stuff. It's uh, yeah, it's a real privilege. Uh, and does that help build the confidence going into season two that, OK, we're on the right track where we've really hit on something? For sure. Um, also, it's uh, nerve wracking because, you know, you, you need to, you need to, um, you know, bring it uh, for season two. But uh, I, I, I've no doubt that the writers, Sharon and, and the gang are, are creating something brilliant. I haven't read anything yet, so I don't know. Uh, but yeah, there's, there's added pressure so, um, to make it as good, if not better. Uh, and you're no stranger to awards. Uh, you've received uh, Olivier Award and Tony nominations for your work on stage in The Cripple of Anishman. Uh, how does working in theater compare to working in film and TV for you? Uh, it's been a while. Uh, it's been a hot minute um, since I've done theater, but that's how I started. Um, so uh, it's something that I uh, absolutely love doing. Um, it's very different. It's a very different kind of discipline and commitment uh, mind and body um but yeah I miss the theater I must I'd love to go back and do a play soon um but uh yeah I don't know if I have a favorite um but it's yeah there it's a very different feeling very you know it's it's so immediate being on stage and uh, feeling the energy of a group you know of, of a room of a thousand people like there's nothing quite like that feeling they say it's the adrenaline you feel it's like um equivalent to a car crash and I'd well believe it. Um, my heart is pounding even thinking about it, <laughs> walking on stage. Um, so yeah, they're they're widely different, um, but both really rewarding. Um, and you know, you mentioned uh, that you haven't read uh, any of season two yet. Um, do you have any personal hopes or you know 
you know, feelings about where you want BB's story to go in season two? Um, not, not necessarily. I think more just the girls being really crap at murder, I suppose. We'll have to find someone new to kill. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know where the storylines are going to go. Um, and I'm just trusting uh, in the genius that is Sharon Horgan. Well, I want to congratulate you on your work on uh, season season one of the show. Uh, looking forward to season two of the show. And, uh, you know, congratulations on all the success of the, you know, the, you. that the series has had so far. So it's Thank been you a so pleasure much. talking with you. Yeah, you too, Danielle. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm.